Hey there friends and fellow Freedom Crusaders, this is Paul Hetchings with paulhetchings.net and Freedom Crusaders TV here with an inspirational message that can help you along your journey. I want to ask you a question and that question is, have you ever received criticism from someone where they said something negative about you or your work or something that you were passionate about, maybe your dream, your goal, your vision, and it just it hurt a little bit, right? Like it it just made you feel a little discouraged. It made, made, made you wonder if maybe you're on the right path. I think that's probably an experience that is very common to anyone who's going to uh, or who's on their way to achieving great things in life. And I want to share this actually happened to me yesterday, by the way, which is why I'm making this video. I had someone send me an email that gave me some negative criticism on some of the work that I've done that I've poured my heart and soul into, right? So I got this negative feedback and, and I was just kind of watching how it was affecting me. And even though I knew what I'm going to share with you, which is a great lesson from Napoleon Hill, some wisdom from Napoleon Hill on how to handle this stuff, even though I knew that, it still kind of, you know, made me, made me a little sad for just a few moments. Um, and so I had an experience that kind of helped me turn it around. And then, you know, also this, this little bit of wisdom that I want to share with you helped a ton too. So here's the wisdom. This comes from Napoleon Hill. And I actually learned this from Greg Reed, who has been affiliated with the Napoleon Hill Foundation for quite some time. He wrote a book called Three Feet from Gold. He's a motivational speaker and author and has also had special access to the Napoleon Hill archives where he's had access to content that hasn't been publicly available on the market. And so one thing that I learned from Greg Reed that he said he learned from the private archives of Napoleon Hill is he said, you want to learn the difference between expert counsel and opinion, right? Expert counsel is advice that comes from someone who has done successfully what it is that you want to do or who has created successfully that which it is that you want to create. That's expert counsel. And so the idea is that that is what we want to give credence to. That is what we want to give weight to and not so much opinion, right? And what's opinion? Opinion is just any random thing that any random person wants to say about us, our work, our vision, our future, about anything, right? And here's the problem is that most of the marketplace is filled with opinion and expert counsel is kind of few and far between, right? To find those mentors that have done what we want to do, have got, have created what we want to create, that's just a little bit more rare. And so the goal seems to be we want to cultivate uh, deaf ears, right? Deafness. We want to cultivate, uh, you know, the ability to tune off most of what we hear so that we can tune in to the right things. And so anyway, just the rest of this story, I got this negative feedback and I was sitting in church actually just kind of feeling a little bit sorry for myself, <laughs> a little bit sad. It's like, oh, someone stuck me with this knife, right? Uh, on this work that I care so much about. And so I was just thinking about that and I noticed there was a guy sitting next to me and I said, uh, at the end of the church meeting, I said, hey, ha how's work going for you? And you know what? Funny enough, what this guy said, he says, not so good. And I was like, what's, 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 what's going on? And he says, you know, I just recently received some criticism about something that I do that's made me feel, you know, really kind of bad. And he went on to tell me about how, you know, he has this habit, this guy is actually a great guy and um, he'll touch, he'll touch you. Like he'll, like he'll come up and say, Hey, how you doing? And he'll kind of touch your arm just real quick. And that's it. Like, it's nothing weird. It's a, he doesn't like caress you or anything like that, but he'll just, you know, like, Hey, how's it going? He'll touch your arm and pat you on the back or whatever. And he said that there were some folks at work, his employee, and then also his boss who have criticized him for that. And basically, you know, said it's a problem and it makes people uncomfortable and he shouldn't do it. And so he's feeling a little bit down about that. And then he also went on to tell me just a little bit more about how he's facing problems and challenges at his job where, you know, he kind of feels like his job might be in a little bit of jeopardy. And so it was just interesting that right as I was thinking about criticism and how it was affecting me, I had an opportunity to talk to this guy sitting next to me who was also having some challenges with criticism. Um, and so it just made me realize maybe how common this is and how, you know, if we can learn to um, not let it affect us as much, number one, but then also to realize how negatively it affects other people and be conscious not to do it to other people because it can really hurt. You know, I think that uh, we can make the world a, a better place. So anyway, that's it. That's my video for today. 
I love you. I believe in you. I know you've got greatness within you. I want to encourage you to get out there and go for your dreams today. Continue to build and step into and create a life of freedom. I believe it's totally possible and within the realm of what you can create. And that's it. That's my video. And hey, by the way, if you're not yet subscribed to my uh, email newsletter to my blog. Uh, I want to encourage you to subscribe. I create content for Freedom Crusaders, those who have a vision and a dream to create lives of total financial independence. And I actually want to offer you a free gift. I've created a document. It's called the Freedom Crusaders Manifesto that I really believe can help you get there. It contains 20, 20 irrefutable laws or principles for stepping into a life of freedom. You can grab that at paulhutchings.net forward slash manifesto. And as always, I love to learn from everyone that I can. So I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Do you have experiences with criticism? Have you faced this in your life? How have you overcome it? Uh, always looking for great ideas on this topic. So that's it. Until next time, have an awesome day and bye for now.